Hey everyone, this is Zipar Zions for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a neon effect using the Saber plugin in Adobe After Effects. So we're going to be using that Saber plugin to give our text like this cool neon glow effect. We're also going to animate it a little, just a write on effect, a flicker, and some brightness, but that's pretty much it. So you can see this is what the project looks like when we're done. And I mean, honestly, like who wouldn't want to learn how to use neon? It's great for poppy, cool video intros, outros, social media posts. Uh, moreover, this is a great way to dip your toes into using Saber overall. Not only does it do neon, it has loads of other settings like a Ghostbusters ghostly effect, electricity, smoke, Patronus, uh, Patronus, is that how you pronounce it? Anyways, and of course a lightsaber effect. So learning how to do this technique will open up the whole plugin for you from how it interacts with other layers to animating it. Um, and so the plugin Saber, we're going to link that below. It's a free plugin, even comes with an installer guide, so it's very easy to set up. It's, uh, it comes from Video Copilot. It's made by Andrew Kramer. Um, he started the whole site out of his like own, own apartment years ago, and uh, he's known from the film industry for like working on Star Trek, Super 8, lots of cool things. And he makes these great plugins, lots of lots of motion graphics products. So um, uh, more to the point, the project file is going to be uh, provided below. It's got the the brick background and the text, all that together. And like I said, Saber, uh, we're going to link that as well below. So let's get started. So when you open up the file, it's uh, probably gonna look something like this, just pretty basic text. And the first thing that we're gonna be doing when applying this effect, we're gonna head up to layer, new solid layer. And I'm gonna name this Saber Neon Effect. Click okay. And let's head over to effects and type in Saber after you've downloaded it. I'm gonna drag it onto my new layer. And what appears is a saber, a lightsaber, um, just this little beam of light. Um, so let's fiddle with the settings to get what we want. So we're gonna be going over to presets in the effect controls. Let's find neon, there we go. And let's head over to um, customize core. By the way, just note how right now the background is black, but we're gonna fix that later on. So don't worry about it. So core type, um, we want to change the uh, core type to text layer, and then it's gonna be like, well, what text layer do you want? We only have the one, but just so you know, you open up text layer and you hit uh, whatever your text layer is, and there we go. Now it's resembling that uh, text layer. But as you can see, there's a little bit of work we gotta do in order to make it uh, look more like what we want. So I'm gonna turn visibility off on our source text layer, um, just so it doesn't interfere with things. And the next thing that I want to do is let's actually lower some of this uh, glow intensity. Let's put that maybe down to 60. Yeah, I think that's uh, a lot more usable. And what we're going to be doing is we're gonna, let's do that right on effect. So let's head over. You'll see under, um, you know, again, effect controls. Look at look for start offset. And I'm going to fiddle with that. Um, Computer, please cooperate with me. There we go. So you'll see as I change that number, um, where the text begins and ends um, is altered. So we're going to be using that to our advantage to animate it. So right now, with my playhead at the origin right here, I am going to set start offset to 100. I'm going to hit a keyframe. That'll set a keyframe. And by the way, with my um, layer highlight, I'm gonna hit U. That'll show me all of my animated keyframes so I could see where they are um, on the timeline. Let's move the playhead in about a second. Um, and then I'm gonna change start offset. I'm gonna make that zero. So it looks like it's gonna write itself on if I scrub through the play, uh, if I scrub through the timeline. You see what I mean? Nice. All right, so let's head over to the flicker setting. Um, so what I want to do is get this thing to flicker just a bit, not too much because that, that'll hurt our eyes, but I want it to, to start flickering, flicker a lot, and then kind of settle down. So we open up flicker, again, effect controls, that's really where we're gonna be working. And let's see, let's go at about 11 frames in, and, you know, 10, 11 frames in. And let's set a flicker keyframe, a uh, flicker intensity. Just intensity, I don't wanna change anything else. You can, flicker speed is pretty much what it sounds like, like how fast is a flicker, but really I wanna work with intensity. 
Um, and let's change that to about 50. Let's have it start out at 50. And then about two seconds in, I want it to like ramp up. So it's gonna be going more and more and more and more till it hits 100. Um, and hit you to show all my keyframes. And then three seconds in, I want the flicker to die back down to about 50. So, you know, the look that this gives, it's not like a really high quality neon sign, it's flickering, you know? So you can see it writes itself on and then some good old flickering and then it, it stops flickering uh, just a bit. So that's what we are going for. So let's go on to changing the color of this thing. So, so, so we scroll up over here again, effect controls and you could see glow color. This is pretty simple. Um, you can probably see where we're going in with this. We're going to head over to about one second in. I'm going to hit the stopwatch to set a keyframe. I like the pink color. We can start with the pink color, but um, let's move over to about a second and a half. And you can figure out that as we set these keyframes and change this color, it's going to cycle through these colors. So I'm going to pick another color. Let's choose like a nice strong purple. I really like this color. It's like a blue purple. And again, I want my uh, layer to show me all my uh, animated keyframes. So once I hit you or double tap you, it'll show me what I'm working with, all my keyframes here. So I like that it'll change from pink to this purpley blue over here, like this violet color. And then let's go baby two and a half seconds in and then change the color again. Let's do like a nice icy blue. I like the saturated colors a lot. That's my preference. And again, in once you set an initial keyframe, every time you uh, animate it down the, the, the timeline, it's gonna automatically set another keyframe. All right, so let's see what it looks like with the color change animation. Nice. Yeah, it cycles through these, it flickers. It's, it's doing a lot. All right. And then lastly, we are going to be going over to the render settings over here. Um, let's toggle those open. Let's look for the word composite settings. And this is so we can get this black background to go away. So composite settings, essentially it's asking you, well, how do you want this layer to interact with the ones below it? Do you just want the background black? Um, do you wanna add them together? Um, it doesn't really change just because of the nature of our background is also quite dark, but if I hit transparent, there you go. It removes that background. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So as mentioned before, Sabre has like a lot of options, like a ton of options. I think you saw some of them. There's so many here. I haven't used all of them. It's a lot of fun. Um, and in particular, our neon one can be used for background signage. If you're setting up a night scene, it's great for lurk videos, music videos, uh, title cards are also a really fun way to use this effect. So definitely check out the rest of Saber's options as well. It's a very versatile plugin. I have a lot of fun uh, trying all the different options personally. So yeah, that's, um, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a neon effect in Adobe After Effects. This has been Zipporah Zions for Noble Desktop.